Hi, thank you for watching Chitrupa Yoga with Laura Wilson. Today we're going to do some yoga for flexibility. So we're going to look at lengthening and stretching all of our major muscle groups and some of our smaller muscle groups, helping to improve our balance, our coordination, and the range of motion that we have at all of our joints. So uh, please do me a favor and in the comments let me know what area of your body is most in need of some increase in its range of motion. And be sure to check out all my videos that are on Patreon. You won't need anything but yourself. We will be completely on the floor for this. So let's go ahead and find an easy seat whenever you're ready. Now let's begin sitting up tall and closing our eyes and just taking that assessment of our body maybe even moving certain parts of it. See what we're feeling today. And just noticing if we are tight anywhere, if we feel kind of limited in our movement somewhere. We're gonna see if we can't iron all that out today. And like I said, we will remain seated for this entire program. Now let's just begin inhaling up. Let's exhale and come forward. Inhale up, exhale, rolling forward. So we're going to do a full little warm up here, make sure our muscles are ready. This particular uh, workout today is perfect to do after some muscle work, cardio work, a more strenuous yoga class because it's going to focus on some deep stretches. And you can always check out some of my other videos. Let's just do a nice easy twist here, rolling. You can check out some of my other videos for some more strenuous work, some more longer warm ups. If you need more of a warm up than what we're about to do. All right, so let's check that out. We're going to take our legs out wide. We're going to continue to work on our core a little bit. Inhale up. And let's exhale our nose to one knee and then the other. Inhaling up, exhaling in that circle. So starting to warm up the backs of our legs here as well, while continuing to work our core. Let's switch directions. Now let's lift up from here. We're going to take one leg out front. Now let's just Exhale forward for a moment. Take a couple of deep breaths while we hold. And we're going to inhale in and up. And let's exhale forward. We're going to flow a little here. Inhale up. Exhale forward. And just feeling the energy flow all over our body. On our next exhale, let's come forward. And then we're going to hold with some deep breaths. If we do feel ourselves pretty warm today, we can even flex our foot back, getting deeper into those muscles in the back of our leg, particularly our calf. And let's sit up from here, switching legs. So again, kind of warming up here, inhale up, exhale forward. Getting that leg ready for some deeper stretching. On this next one, let's come forward and hold. Again, relaxed foot, or we can flex our foot. Just noticing how our body is feeling. And let's lift up from here. Taking our legs wide. Now let's just begin to inhale up on one side exhale on the other. Taking ourselves up over our legs as much as possible here. So still feeling the backs of the legs, getting a little bit into our inner thigh here. 
So we're gonna add some side stretches to our hamstring stretch here. So pushing our sit bone into the floor, this sit bone into the floor, opening up here, reaching up. And since today is about flexibility, maybe we'll take this even all the way over to our toes. It's up to you how far you wanna go. And a lot of that depends on how the back of this leg is feeling also. We can still get a mighty, mighty stretch just from reaching straight to the ceiling. Wherever we are, we wanna make sure that we can breathe. That's the key. So let's switch up from reaching from the ceiling, pushing the sit bone into the floor. And again, it's up to you how far over you wanna take this, making sure that it's breathable. If it's breathable, we're good. It's when we get to the point where we're like, that we wanna back off, all right? So let's just take care of ourselves today. That's what yoga is all about. Let's lift up and let's go ahead and go for it straight down the middle. Just seeing how that goes today. Let's lift up from here. We're going to roll our shoulders back, clasp our hands, and really open up our chest. So let's sit up tall for a moment. Feeling our chest opening up, breathing deeply into our heart. Feeling our breath opening up our rib cage. And let's come forward, keeping our shoulder blades squeezing together. It's up to you how far you wanna go. Really noticing this in our groin area, in our chest, our arms. And let's lift up from here. Let's go ahead and come to an easy seat. We're gonna focus on some shoulder movement today. So we're gonna stretch out our triceps by reaching up, feeling this all the way down into the side and a little back of our shoulder here. Pushing from here or we can reach around from behind and really lift up. And again, making sure that we breathe. So we're gonna put this shoulder through its full range of motion here. And if any of these stretches feel particularly good to you, feel free to pause the video, hold the stretch a little longer, and then hit play again when you're ready to move on. But we're gonna go ahead and take this across. Our tendency is to lift our shoulder, let's pull it down. Let's pull down and away. And let's go ahead and draw our hand in, draw our hand open. Out. And then we're going to take this around to the back. So if you want to, use your other hand to just kind of place that hand there. And then just focus on the stretch across the front of the shoulder, across the top of it. And if you want to accentuate that, let's draw our head away. So increasing that space between our neck and shoulder. Breathing deeply. So hopefully these stretches will increase the movement that we have at our shoulders. Again, if this is feeling particularly good to you, keep going. If at any point something feels like it's a little too much, you can always come out of it sooner. So let's take this to the other side, reaching up and back, pressing open. And again, we're feeling this along our triceps, down through the side of our shoulder. Always feeling a little bit of, I want to say supraspinatus. Now let's go ahead and bring this across, lowering our shoulder. Let's bring our wrist in. Bring our wrist out. Feeling that stretch at the back of our shoulder, across our shoulder blade. And let's release, reaching around behind. And again, placing our hands somewhere on our back, feeling that stretch across the front. Now look at the side, through the top, up into our neck, without shrugging. We want to keep both shoulders down here. And 
let's release from here. So the next one we're going to do is a deep side stretch that's going to stretch out our quadriceps in front of our hip a little bit if we choose to go there, and that depends a lot on our knees. So we can do this stretch from easy seat, but give it a shot taking both legs around to the side or our mermaid seat. So what we're going to do is put this, push this sit bone into the floor, and we're going to lift up, and again, just a big stretch to the ceiling here, or take it over if you wish. So hopefully you're feeling this right through the side of your body, but if you've got your legs like this, hopefully we're feeling this a bit more across our hip as well. Checking that we're breathing. Now let's release from here. We'll take this hand to the floor, holding on to this ankle or foot, and just drawing our foot up toward our body, and then just listening to our body about how far we can take our knee back behind us while holding on to our foot. So we all should be able to hold our foot right here, but let's press back even further if we can. And again, we're feeling the front of our hip now. So we're putting our hip through its full range of motion now. We've already done our shoulders. And we're hitting our core at the same time. Now let's release from there. And again, we'll come to easy seat and take these stretches there or see how it feels to take our legs around to the other side. So let's push our other sit bone into the floor, reaching for the ceiling, and that right there can be a, enough of a stretch, really. But if you're feeling it, take it further. You can always go further. You can always back off again if you need to. Our breath is our guide. As always, we want our breath to be our guide. Now let's lift up from there, reach down and hold on to our ankle, drawing our foot into our bottom, and then just seeing how far back we might be able to take this leg. And it's very possible that each one is different. Usually our hips are different. So again, we're letting our bodies be our guide here. Let's see what they have to tell us. So that would be the front side, we've done the groin. We're going to do a deep stretch for the outer hip or glutes. But let's come back around. I'm going to show you some modified variation of this next pose before the deep version of the pose. If you have some blankets or towels you can roll up, blocks or a pillow, a big cushion that you can use, go ahead and get yourself about this much space. What we're going to do is we're going to come to our hands and knees and we're going to have a seat on this. So this is a modified hero's pose, which we can actually stay right here or we can take our hands back behind us. This is opening up the front of our hips, giving us a little back bend. Now if that's feeling pretty good, we can always remove a block or a layer of towel and see how that feels. Now this is a bit lower, so we may be starting to feel our knees. So we want to stay in the highest version that we can, or the lowest version that we can, and have our knees not be going ah, ah. And here again, let's open up. Nice deep breaths. Feeling the fronts of our thighs, feeling some toning in our arms and really stretching across our chest. And let's release from here. So now we're gonna hit that V hip opener I was promising you. And let's take this to uh, figure four to start with, right here. And we're going to bend the bottom leg and here again we're going to press forward and feel that hip so hopefully we're feeling this all along here all along those gluteal muscles and we can stay right here breathing deeply but if we're feeling it today we feel like going deeper we're going to take hold of our calf 
We're going to bring the outer edge of our foot into the crook of our arm and our other arm around our leg. And just make sure that we're sitting up tall if we need this. We don't want to be rolling back. Let's sit up nice and tall, hugging in. Breathing deep. And again, if you want to keep holding this longer, go for it. We're going to place that leg back on the other one if we picked it up. And let's lower down from here. Let's try the other side. So begin here, bending the bottom leg, and then pressing forward. Nice deep breaths. And here again, if we want to take this deeper, we're going to take this foot into the crook of our elbow, other arm around our knee. Sitting up tall. Breathing. And just feeling that hip. A lot of people like this stretch because it just releases those muscles. If we sit on them a lot, if we walk or run a lot, the, this stretch right here should feel really good. Should be releasing those tight muscles. Hopefully it's releasing some stress as well. Let's release that leg back and lower down. And let's come back around to the center. And just kind of check in here with how we're feeling. Let's sit up nice and tall. Hopefully we've got better circulation in some of these areas. Better movement at some of our joints. If these felt good, feel free to do this. Play the video over again and hit everything a second time especially if you have just finished a much uh, longer workout. Um, and if you did, hopefully these stretches have helped you alleviate some of the soreness that may come from that. But I, I hope that you did find something that you can use here today. Be sure to check out all my videos on Patreon, and I will see you next time.